Hello, and welcome to Creating Frequency Tables with Excel. Uh, before we jump into the Excel portion, let's first refresh on what is a frequency table. So you can see here in the middle of my screen, I've got something in the left column and frequency in the right. So a frequency table is simply a two column table generally, where we have values or uh, labels or something in the left hand column, and then the frequency or the number of time that thing exists in the right. And so when we're talking about Excel, we want to create these two column tables using Excel. So we're going to do two examples. The first example, we're going to use numbers. So I have a pre-populated set of data. Uh, so you can use any numbers, right? Whatever data set you have. And these are kind of the steps we're going to go through. So the first things first, I am going to use my data tab at the top and I'm going to go to my advanced filter. Now you can see it automatically jumped to certain uh, spots here in my A column, which I think is a little bit weird. But one thing we want to do, we want to copy to another location. Now, I don't want to start at A4, I want to start at A2. The reason those dollar signs are in there, that locks in those values. So from A2 to A21, we want to lock in at A21, we're stuck. So you can see my numbers start at A2 to A21. That's why I have the A2, A21, they're in that list range. Now I want to put them in, I'll put them in column C, that's fine, but I would like them to start in row two. So that's why I'm going to use C2. And I only want unique records, right? Because unique means one time every number should exist. Unique. So I'm going to click OK. And you can see, for some reason, 15 is there twice. I don't know why. I'm going to delete one of them. But these are my unique values. I have no idea why 15 showed up twice. But I also want to put these in order. So we can use a sort feature. If I go back to the Home tab in Excel, you can see sort and filter is here. But right now it's grayed out. So if I highlight these values, you can see sort and filter has now become black, it's color populated, I can color that. And I wanna sort smallest to largest. That just rearranges my numbers, that's what I want. Okay, so now I need to figure out how many times is that number 10 listed in this list of data. Now you could go through and count each one. Depending on the size of your data set, that can be a lot of work. So we're going to use what we call the count if, C-O-U-N-T-I-F. Then we're going to do the range. And again, we want to use the dollar signs to lock in our position. So dollar sign A, dollar sign 2. That means you can see that 15 is now highlighted. That's where I'm starting. Then I'm going to use a colon because this tells me where I'm going to. Dollar sign A, dollar sign 21. That highlights my entire list of data. I'm going to do comma, and now I want the value that is in C3, right? I want to know all of the tens in my entire list of data. So end parentheses and hit enter. 10 appears four times. Now, because I've locked in A2 to A21 with my dollar signs, I can put my black plus sign over that green corner, drag and drop, right? So I just clicked on that corner and drag it down. So now you can see the formula is still A2 to A21. The only thing that changed is the C positioning. C3, then C4, C5, C6. And now, my friends, I have myself a frequency table. I have unique values in the left-hand side, and I have the frequency in the right-hand side. Thus, frequency table. Let's do a colored example. We're going to do the same thing pretty quickly. All right, so we'll go colors in this spot. We're going to go frequency in, ooh, can't spell here today. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go data, advanced. Now you can see this one is A2 to A19. That's the list I want. So I'm going to copy to a new location, C2. That's column C, row two. That's where it's going to start. That's good. And again, I want unique records only. So when I click OK, for some reason, that first one is always showing double. I think that's very weird. Um, I, I don't know why that's happening. OK, so now I can again use count if. Ooh, too many ends in the word count. That's not OK. And again, I'm using dollar sign A, dollar sign 2, colon, dollar sign A, dollar sign 19, 
comma, and again, I'm looking at C3. So you can see things highlight as you go so you know what you're using. Green appears four times. Again, I can hover over the right corner so the black plus sign appears. Then I click and drag to autofill. Again, I now have this is now my frequency table with colors in the left-hand column, frequency in the right. I hope you enjoyed creating frequency tables with Excel.